Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing some products from the Danish company Ceramic Speed. They make a wide variety of ceramic bearings for bicycles as well as industrial products. And they also sponsor many of the teams in the Pro Peloton, such as Team Tinkoff, Etix Quickstep, Astana, Dimension Data, and many more teams. So I figured I'd give them a shot and review them for you guys. Uh, apparently their stuff is supposed to increase performance by decreasing resistance as well as improving the durability of the actual bearings. I've done well over a thousand miles using their stuff so let's get right into it. I'm going to be reviewing their headset, their bottom bracket, their pulley wheels, their chains, and their wheel bearings for my S-Works Tarmac. So in the box comes two bearings, a dust cover, a spacer, compression ring, grease, and besides making my flight deck look really pro, the bike actually feels a lot smoother either when cornering and when turning the handlebars there's very little resistance and the headset does provide a bit more stiffness so the ride is more stable as well. Next up we have the bottom bracket and this is hands down my favorite product from Ceramic Speed. Very little resistance, very smooth. My crank just doesn't stop spinning. It feels like there's a hidden motor inside the bike. That's how much of a difference this bottom bracket makes. If you're looking to race or just like going really fast, I definitely recommend checking out their bottom bracket. And I should say that all S-Works are equipped with ceramic speed bottom brackets, which is really nice because you're investing all this money into a high-end bike you really want a nice, very smooth bottom bracket that's just gonna keep you going all day long. I also got to check out their pulley wheels and inside the box came the two pulley wheels, spacers, oil. So the pulley wheels are actually the fastest spinning bearing out of the whole bicycle. So I figured I'd give them a shot and I compared them to the standard Durace pulleys that came on my rear derailleur. And those actually have ceramic bearings on them. So I figured this is a good way to see how much faster they are than other standard ceramic bearings. And wow, did it make a difference? It was almost night and day. And this just goes to show you how much smoother these ceramic speed bearings are. And those pulley wheels complement that bottom bracket very nicely. My whole drivetrain is so smooth. It's smooth as vegan butter. It just does not stop spinning. So next up is the UFO chain and inside the box comes the chain itself, some gloves, two chain pins, and a small bottle of squirt lube, which is a really nice dry lube and really cool that they included that in there. So just to be clear, the chain itself doesn't have any ceramic bearings in them, but what it is, it's like optimized with Teflon powder and this was my first time using a chain that was covered in powder and not lubed up. Uh, Ceramic Speed recommends that you don't lube up the chain until after 200 miles. That way you get the most performance gain out of it. But yeah, you're just supposed to put it on as it is full of powder. To be honest with you guys, I didn't know what to expect when I first got this chain. I mean, you put it on, you get this powder all over your bike and drivetrain. Big mess, but the powder actually turns into like a wax consistency. So it wipes right off and it doesn't attract any dirt because it's not wet, it's not sticky, which is great because I'm a huge fan of, of using dry lube and, and keeping the chain as dry as possible. But in terms of performance, I didn't notice much of a difference between that and a standard Dura-Ace chain. Ceramic Speed claims that it adds two to five watts over a standard Dura-Ace chain. So maybe a chain not for everyday use, but maybe conserved for race days. And if you're not concerned with those marginal gains, you know, you probably are better off spending that money on say hit the bottom bracket or the pulley wheels. Last but not least, the wheel bearings. And these are another product I definitely rate. When I built this bike, I equipped it with the Roval CLX 40 wheel set, and they actually came stocked with ceramic speed bearings. And I noticed a big difference in the way these roll compared to standard bearings. I mean, they're just very little resistance, very smooth. It feels like they're rolling forever. So just another aspect to keep in mind when you're looking into a new wheel set. So in conclusion, I would say that Ceramic Speed definitely makes some high quality world class stuff, which is why they sponsor so many teams. But I'll be honest with you guys, their stuff is not cheap and I'd probably say that it's not for everyone out there. But if the smoothness of the ride and performance and the durability of the bearings themselves are important to you, 
Ceramic Speed would be a very wise investment and one that I would recommend. So I want to give a big thanks to Ceramic Speed for sending me out some of their products to review. I'll have their website in the description down below as well as their YouTube channel. They post a lot of great maintenance videos as well so you guys can check those out. But yeah, very good company, very great stuff they got going on, very responsive to emails, and their shipping rocks as well. Anyway, if you guys have any comments or questions, post them down below and let me know if you guys have used Ceramic Speed products before in your frame or wheel set. And if so, what did you guys think of them? Give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more cycling reviews like this one and subscribe to stay up to date on all my videos including the full review of my S-Works Tarmac which I promise I'll be posting here soon. I haven't had the chance but I'm planning on taking it to the beach and getting some good footage of it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you out on the road.